cavalry greeting daughters of zion i greet you if it's whatever weather that he is in your side there good morning good afternoon and good evening daughters of zion so we are here today and welcome you into victorious kitchen victorious sorry victorious tv in uh, mama's kitchen so today i just want to teach us how to make small chop like puff puff so today what you want to make is puff puff you want to make okay so these are the ingredients i use fresh milk yeast self rising flour nutmeg and sugar okay so you can use any type of sugar you want to use whether the brown sugar or the white sugar any type of sugar you want to use okay it all depends of what you want to use i mean what you want to put in your in your puff puff and some also like their puff puff to be spicy so whatever you want to put in your puff puff you can add it you can put pepper just to make it spicy so i noticed that some people like spicy lot so they like to put spicy in all you know all their their their, their food so also you can you can also put a uh, uh, pepper also in your puff puff to make it spicy okay so we have fresh milk we have yeast self rising flour i like to use self rising flour because it, it doesn't take longer to rise because it's self rising already so it's it making your puff puff faster but if you use the plain flour you need to you know to allow the 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 fly i mean the the yeah. dough to rise overnight so it's like you do it in the night and the next day and things like that i prefer using self rising flour for my puff puff the fresh meat i like to use fresh meat though you can use warm water for your for your puff puff so that the flour the mixture will be very smooth because if you use cold water it will be difficult for you to mix it to make it smooth okay so i use fresh water and i mean fresh milk this fresh meat has been in the cool you know area so it's not that cold it's not that hot okay so i use this also to 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 sift my flour because sometimes the flour can come dirty you know and i've noticed that before i've done that before that i see some dirty on the flour so to just make sure that there is nothing in the flour okay so we're gonna start the process now And it doesn't really matter the quantity yeah it depends on what you want to make sometimes maybe if you want to just make a little or much so it doesn't really matter it's not a must to, to use the whole pack you can use half pack of flour okay the flour is clean thank god so i put more i'll use like half pack okay so we are done with the flour now i want to put the yeast so i put you put the yeast according to the quantity of the the i mean flour that you are using so because i'm using half pack almost almost more than half so i will use the two pack of yeast you can find your yeast anywhere in any supermarket So I have not make I'll put 
the nutmeg. I'll put all because it's not much. So we're gonna give it a good mix first before putting the sugar. Now we want to put the milk. So when you are putting the milk or the water, you put a little bit and mix the flour first so that you won't make it too watery because it's puff puff. So we want it to, to give like a kind of um we want the puff puff to be to be a bit thicker. You know the dough of the puff puff to be thicker. So we don't want it to be too soft. So you need to be careful while putting your milk or water. Something I'm missing. Oh, it's the the nutmeg. You can also use your hand to make it faster if you wish so doesn't really matter what you use the most important thing is that you make it smooth so we can see now it's a bit thick so I need to have a little bit of milk again at this point I'm gonna have the sugar so the sugar can come at the same time while you are putting the nutmeg yeah the the heat of the nutmeg so it doesn't really matter you can put it at any time So it's a bit too thick so I need to add a little bit of milk this one this pack is finished so I'll add one more a little bit this time around so that it won't be too light I'm gonna use my hand because this is a bit not too strong to make it smooth so I'm gonna use my hand to make it very smooth your hand you will touch every part of the bowl that you are using so that everywhere will be smooth and touch so that there will not be any part of the flour that will not be untouched so you can see I'm touching even to the ground inside the plate 
to make the dough very smooth. perfect stretch I mean texture that we need you can see it's not that too light not too thick in the middle such in the way that you can easily make your puff puff you know so that's the texture so we have finished mixing it now we're gonna cover it up for about 30 minutes to rise it needs to rise So we're going to cover it with the foil paper. Come back to it. Hello, guys, welcome back. So, now we want to check the dough if he has, if he has a reason. reason. Oh, lovely! Look at it. Wow, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So you can see the way it rise. So beautiful. So that is it. Like I said, I'll give it 30 minutes, but it's more than 30 minutes, okay? So the most important thing is that when you finish mixing it like that, you let him rest and make sure he rise. When you see that he has a reason, then you can now go ahead and start frying your puff puff. So now we see that it has risen, we're going to start frying the pot. So I already put the pot on the fire to be heated. So. So now we're going to start the frying. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop a piece of onions in the oil to show that the oil is hot. Beautiful, beautiful. And I like the smell of the onions. Mm. Nice one. So 
So when you write like that, you can also try to bring it down so that it can allow you, the oil is a bit high, I want to reduce it, it can allow you to fry. Oil is a bit hot now. So, I'm going to start frying. Alright, you can use your hand or whatever you want to use to fry, okay? It doesn't really matter. It's hot, so I left it for a while to allow it to cool down first. So when you see that your oil is hot like that, you just off the gas for a while. To fry your pot, you need to use a pot that is deep, you know, that is deep, not that flat, so that it won't be difficult for you. Okay. So the first one is ready. I'll we'll try to remove it. Nice color. Each time you want to fry, you need to wet your hand so that the dough will not stick into your hand. Ready? Okay, Doctor of Zion. So this is the puff puff. You can see. We fried it, now you can see the texture and look at how it is inside, the inside. You can see, well fried and nicely and also delicious. Hmm, mmm, ladies, you need to taste this, I'm telling you. Hmm, mm. it's very, very nice. And one thing I wanted to tell you also, when you are adding the sugar, they all depend on how you want it, okay? So I'll just show you some steps how to go about it, how to make it. So it depends on you, you can use your own style. Like I said, you can also put, if you like spicy things, you can put pepper inside. I tried it before, it was, mm. It was nice but this one because the children like of course so i don't want to put much and pepper in it okay so don't forget you have your milk and the milk the fresh milk make the difference i'm telling you try it try it with the fresh milk it's so delicious you can see that the taste is so different so 
that's the puff puff okay until i come to your way again remain blessed don't forget jesus love you bye